Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make the best homemade soft pretzels. There's nothing quite like a homemade soft pretzel. My family loves these. In fact, they're gonna be super excited when they find out I made these today. And I'm sure that they're gonna gobble them up pretty much immediately. The best part about homemade soft pretzels is that they only require a few ingredients, and they're ingredients that I almost always have on hand. It starts with one and a quarter cup of water. Now you want it to be lukewarm water so it can activate the yeast. Speaking of, we'll add in a tablespoon of yeast and a quarter cup of brown sugar. Now if you use instant yeast, there's no reason to let this sit and foam and proof which is pretty much one of the wonders of modern yeast, so I highly recommend using instant yeast, but if you're not, you use the same amount, but you'll need to let it sit and proof for about 10 minutes. Then you'll add in about three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now, you may need about another half cup of flour depending on the weather and how accurately you measured your water and a lot of other factors, but for now, we're gonna get this started mixing. Let it mix until the dough pulls away from the sides of the bowl and add more flour as necessary to achieve this. One of the great things about soft pretzels is that you don't have to knead the dough. Once it comes together, that's all you're looking for. So you also don't need a fancy stand mixer for this. You can easily make it in a bowl with a wooden spoon or a metal spoon. It doesn't actually have to be wooden. Just stir it until you have a dough ball that comes together. Then cover the bowl with a towel and let it rise for about 20 minutes. And yes, it really only takes 20 minutes to rise. Next comes the fun part. Pinch off about a golf ball size lump of dough and start rolling it out into a long rope, or as my kids call it, a snake. You wanna roll it till it's about 12 inches long and you'll shape it into a pretzel. And the easiest way to do this is to loop one side, loop the other and pinch together. Now, I find that that's the easiest method for kids to do in particular. If you're a grown-up and that's what you want to do, no judgment here. But there's also another way. Now, it's very similar, but you'll loop and twist and then pinch. It's a little bit of a prettier pretzel. This recipe makes between 9 and 12 pretzels, depending on how big you made them. Next, we're going to put together our dipping solution. You'll need one and a half cups of hot water. And to that, add a quarter cup of baking soda and stir it together. We're going to dip our pretzels into this solution. Now, you can also do this with boiling water on the stove, but I like to keep this recipe as kid-friendly as possible because I love it when kids are in the kitchen cooking. So take a pretzel, dip it in the water, and then place it onto a parchment or silpat lined baking sheet. And continue until you've dipped all of your pretzels. Now, the boiling water method produces slightly chewier results. If you choose to go that route, bring a pot of water to a boil and add in the baking soda, and then you'll boil your pretzels working about two or three at a time for one minute, and you'll see that they puff up and then transfer them to the baking sheet. Next, you'll wanna crank up your oven to as high as it will go. For mine, it's 500 degrees. And we're gonna bake these for about six minutes until they're golden brown on top. Once they're out of the oven, you'll want to flavor them up with your desired toppings. Today, I'm going to show you the two traditional routes with sweet and savory. You'll brush the tops with melted butter and then sprinkle on either coarse salt or cinnamon sugar. And that's it. Your pretzels are ready. Just in time, too, because the kids are about to get home from school and they will be so excited to have this treat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.